This is where the athletic tour starts, the Binder Physical Education Center. In this building, we have everything that we need to be successful. We have our weight room for strength and conditioning, our locker room for the team, and our coach's office here as well. Let's take a look. Our first stop on campus is our varsity weight room. This weight room was newly renovated this past summer, and we are so excited to have started using it this fall. This first section houses all of our cardio equipment. From treadmills, rowers, bikes, and versa climbers, there's always something to do. Coach Parker, our strength and conditioning coach, also has his office here. As you go up the stairs, you enter the second section of our weight room. If you're looking for back extensions or leg presses, this is where you'll find it. We keep all of our weighted exercise equipment here. The new renovation has also allowed us eight new racks, four on each side of this room. This provides a great space for team lifts. Working across from each other and next to each other builds team camaraderie and a powerful and fun atmosphere to get stronger. The diverse equipment that we have here allows us to train in different ways and to become more confident and stronger athletes. As we enter the fourth section, this is probably our team's favorite. On the left, we have new turf to do agilities, box jumps, and sleds. And on the right, we also have our dumbbells and kettlebells and a few extra racks if we need them. We are very lucky to have the resources that we have here at Harwick in this new weight room will provide great opportunity for our team to get stronger together and as individuals. The team has really enjoyed using this new space this past fall. Coach Parker does a great job tailoring his workouts to our athletes specifically for women's lacrosse. His biggest keys are building confidence, preventing injuries, and just getting stronger each day. The team really thrives off of those philosophies. They look forward to coming in here, throwing on some music, and just working hard and having fun at the same time. Down this hall, we have three racquetball courts. The space is primarily used for wall ball. Here's what one of them looks like. Typically before practice, we'll meet here as a team and divide up into the three courts to do our timed wall ball routine. Each time we do our wall ball routine, we strive to get faster than the time before, focusing on good throwing fundamentals and getting the ball out of your stick quickly. On the same hallway as our three racquetball courts, we have our small auxiliary gym. This is a space we can use to practice if the weather outside does not let us use our outside field. It is also right across from the weight room, so Coach Parker typically uses this to extend their workouts. On the second floor, we have the general locker room. This is also where our team locker room is located. The great thing about this space is that it is ours for the whole year, fall and spring seasons. Our locker room was actually renovated about two years ago, which has allowed for a great space for our team to use, whether that's getting ready for practice, hanging out, or getting a quick study break in before going to the next class. We have these nice wood engraved hawks at the top of the doors. We also have a nice whiteboard located at the end of the locker room, which allows to write plays, take notes, and also display our motto of the year, adapt and overcome which was very fitting for this year. On game days, there's lots of dance parties, laughter, and just having fun. Right now, the lockers are set up in position groups. So we have our attackers starting on the left to our midfielders, defenders, and goalies ending by the door. Our locker room is also home to our blue and white trophy. In the fall, we split our team into two teams, blue and white, and they compete in official blue-white challenges from the beginning of the fall to the end of the spring. The next stop is the pool. The pool is located between the second and third floors of Binder. Our student athletes use this space with our athletic trainers to rehab from injuries. They might use it to run in the water or to actually swim. It's a great space and you're always welcome to use it if there is lifeguards there. On the third floor is our sports medicine athletic training room. We have three wonderful athletic trainers that work really well with our student athletes. Hopefully you won't be spending a lot of time in here, but this room does have everything you need to rehab from injuries and prevent injuries.
This is the outside of the gymnasium. We use this space as an alternative to the field if the temperatures or weather don't allow us to go outside. The space is a perfect size to do stick work drills such as boxes and shuttles. We also do a lot of walkthroughs of our offense and defensive sets while we're in here. We use this space to take advantage of the time that we have to practice. So the weather is nice and we're ready to go out in the field. We're ready to go and we know what we need to do when we're out there. This is the main entrance of Binder. Behind us is the parking lot, and then to the left is the soccer field, which is separate from the football lacrosse and field hockey field, which we will be heading to next. Down this hallway is the Athletic Hall of Fame. There are many lacrosse players on these walls that have played great roles in our success in the past 50 year history. We've made it to final fours and won conference championships. Because of this rich history of Hartwick women's lacrosse, we take major pride in what we do here, and being part of this team is something special. If you're on the third floor of Binder, there's no better way to exit than taking the elevator. This elevator has one of the best views of Oneonta on all of campus. Let's take a look. Now we are at our field. Welcome to Wright Stadium. This summer, we were lucky enough to get all new turf put in. Our student athletes have really enjoyed it this past fall and spring. In the spring, us and men's lacrosse are the only teams that are in season on this field. So that allows us to have priority of a practice time. The men's team typically likes to practice from 12 to three. So this allows us to have the four to six time slot or five to seven, depending on class schedules. We like to do those time slots because it allows our student athletes to have a regular scheduled day. In the fall, because we are out of season, football, field hockey, and soccer have priority. Typically, this will lead us to practice on a grass field called Strawberry Field at the top of the hill. We do that so we still practice in the four to six time slot. But typically, we will have one day a week where we practice in the morning. Now let's head up into one of the coolest spaces on campus, the Hawk's Nest, and get another view of the field. This is the space we like to call the Hawk's Nest. It's a really great room with large windows, nice ceilings, and a lot of seating. We do a lot of team meetings in here. We'll also meet in here before practice to go over film and scout. On game days, this is a great space for our parents to watch the game. On the cold winter months, which is majority of our season, all parents will be found in here watching the game from the warmth of the inside. Because of the windows and the view, you still have a great sight of everyone on the field. After games, we'll meet in here for tailgates hosted by the parents for food and just fellowship after a great game. This marks the conclusion of our athletics tour. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our coaching staff. Have a great day.